Anyway, back to porn. <laughs> I just like us before you freaking record videos. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now we get it. <laughs> we don't do that before we record videos. Horny shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Let's talk about more weep shit. Oh, here we go. Speaking Basically of weep shit. Waiting in your outfit, Seda. Thanks, sir. Uh, that was in his dreams. No, that's the, the freaking figure right there. Shut up. Stop getting in my head. <laughs> no one cares now whose fucking eyes are those eyes. That's just rude. We still believe. You've been drinking I again. Show something else. I'm gonna let both of those get mixed together and just leave it like that. Yeah, it'll be fine. Don't worry. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was actually literally a crop off, wasn't it? Dude, if we hear that when we go to Japan, we're gonna freak the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's gonna be like, it's a fucking cross off, what are you doing? <laughs> but in Japanese and angrily. <laughs> no, I think they're gonna be like fucking tourists. <laughs> yeah, they know. Fucking chaos head idiots. No one plays that game. We <laughs> science gate idiots. It's like we have. <laughs> And then we're, yeah, we're, we're gonna go over to Africa and do the same thing there and go like, fucking Steins get idiots, go play Chaos Child. <laughs> then we go back to Shibuya and like, fucking Chaos Child idiots, go play Robotic Nose. And then we go to Tanigashima and they're like, ah, fuck, we got nowhere to pass. Like, hell yeah, now. look at these nerds, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we have found our home. <laughs> That's fine. That wouldn't be a bad place to be home. <laughs> I don't mean the middle of fucking nowhere, but. Yeah, that's a trade off you make. <laughs> Maybe his Discord broke as well. Discord? Yeah, it broke. This really is me and you before we record. I hope he keeps it. Mark your cards. Oh, fuck you. You had a cubesy, you don't. Even if it's kind of useful. Oh boy. Turns out it was just Kazooie. <laughs> like, I've been in this class five seconds and I'm gonna prank call this bitch. And then you was gonna hear about it. It's like, she did what? <laughs> Over the phone? That's so lewd. <laughs> I kind of want to do it now. <laughs> Prank me. Don't say it. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. Don't say it. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? We going outside? What is this? Well, we can send it. What the fuck? What the hell is Claude? What is Claude? Remember Claude?
Yeah, it's convenient. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just noticed that. There's no cloud. Ah, oh, fuck, yeah. Hmm. Cloud? We can be near. Ooh, lemonade. Hell yeah. 2 a.m. lemonade. Fuck, you kidding me? That's freaking me every night. <laughs> oh, God. So what you're saying is you now become Takumi. <sighs> I and don't you... know. I guess I don't know. So we're going good lemonades, not bad lemonades? Sure. Okay, good lemonades. I'm in, I'm in a good mood, so it was a good delusion today. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I have to come back later for the bad lemonade. Masaka. What was self service though? Well, that didn't really exist in 2009. That's making me wonder when did we start getting self service tills and shops? <laughs> Still a few years off at this point. It's gonna be Fez and she's gonna be horny. What's your bet? Um, I think uh, a wild puzzle bee is gonna show up. Yeah, it's probably gonna be it actually. Also, it's probably not at all. Probably just gonna be generic, you know. Yeah, like no unknown whatever. character. Yeah. Mate. That fuck is it, dude? Oh. Oh my. I'm a man big shot to start up. Oh, you abandoned your shop, so fuck you. Anta ga dete konai kara de sho. Tsasen, inemuri shite mashita. Ah, okay. Everyone's come to an understanding. ね。当然ただで持って帰ってもいいよね。はあ。それとこれとは別じゃないですか。あんたの責任なんだからあんたが代金立て替えろよ。ふざけんなに言ってやろう。この。あ、ウィーラブリングだ。いや、ウィーラ
Okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's how you know something's gone wrong in Japan when there hasn't been a trade in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Right. Again, we've never seen him walk. No, if he did this more often, it'd probably be good for his health. I mean, freaking every time he's gone out, he's ran in some form or another. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, he only goes out like twice a month. He doesn't do it enough. It's like, when he does it, he does it well. He just needs to do it more often, you know? Become a regular thing. Maybe then he'd actually learn to walk, so he wouldn't have to run everywhere. <laughs> Anyway, this place looks busy. Sonda. Hmm, that seems safe. We're assuming it's 7 p.m. You're assuming you're normal. Uh -huh. But if no one existed, who would you have to no pay one for your living? Need, yeah, you would need a pay. Yeah. Just like that shop back there. Oh, it doesn't solve that problem, though. Yeah, you would eventually run out of fresh food. Yeah. Oh, that's a real problem. Mm hmm. Because the bots are shit in that game. <gasps> This is a completely normal Saturday night. Yatto, I done it. I heard you like porn. Yeah, but he's not into the disabled stuff. これ、どうなってるんですか。どうして誰もいないのか。君、君は利用してますか。知ってるよ。Well, at least that's 50% of world population knows what's going on. それより。僕のメッセージ。受け取ってくれた。
その目誰の目えぇでしょえぇえぇ Yes, we are confused. Confusion. 目覚めるんだ。早く。出ないと。もっとたくさんの人が死んじゃうことになるから。Yeah. Even more fucky than it currently is at the moment. Which is pretty fucky. 君は一体。He looks like a bitch. <laughs> Ah, rude. Oh, Here, put a red arrow is... pointing. Put a red arrow pointing at him and it says, lol, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then, boom, we have a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> That's just rude. Shogun da yo. This game really is racist. Oh. Anyway, that was actually important. We were just memeing as usual. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> I don't know where that came from, from you, but. You're making fun of him. That's clearly How's racist. the game racist? Because you're making fun of him. So the game's racist? Yes. Okay. You're acting like any of those statements have ever made any sense, which they don't. So, at least they have a basis in something. This one does not. <laughs> You're saying like that we've never made any sort of baseless statements ever. God damn it. Our statements are always well researched and well backed up. Put that quote on the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Play not the sick beats. Yeah. Hmm. What he's saying is run away. <laughs> you know, I, just, I get this. I just be like, what the fuck was that? Who the fuck are you? Trying to drive home, you're in the way. You're looking at me. They touch me. あ、no, I can only run. Duck. Being a fucking idiot again. Oh, and now I'm getting associated with you. Like, I know you don't have friends, but I do. Probably because she stabbed me. Hmm. Is that what friends do to each other? Wow, I don't fuck anything. That's the problem. <laughs> Oh, God. You Virgin Davis. <laughs> oh, that's just cold. <laughs> just pulls out the stakes like, you're getting it now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was too far. Don't get to work. 
Slut. <laughs> He's like, yes, master. <laughs> Today I learned I was a bottom. <laughs> mm -hmm. The demon girls put me in my place. <laughs> I am now one with myself. <laughs> oh, that's sexist. Time to go night night. Mm -hmm. This isn't stabbing at all. Zoom out a little bit and you'll see the stab. <laughs> I'm I'm currently pulled against you. Oh, uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we are in the middle of the street. Um, apparently not. Maybe that I'm fucking stupid. Maybe. What if she isn't trying to murder us? Unfortunately, that would then give credence to your bullshit theory that she didn't brutally murder that guy we saw. I get fucked. Oh. I know how she's going to explain that, but. To be fair, I'd rather be friends with the murderer than be enemies with the murderer. <laughs> Alright. So I think we're winning. Anyway, she's taking us to a dark alley to stab us. Which I guess makes sense. If you stab someone right in the middle of Shibuya Crossing, like, everyone's gonna see that. Whereas just take him, you know. A little bit away into a dark alley, nobody will know. Ah, uh, yes, the horn. I mean, uh, we need to move. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the horn. The horn, the slightly out of the way. Meanwhile, you, you was looking this from across the street and she's like, those sluts. <laughs> those absolute fucking whores. They had physical contact in the street. You was going to think we're sluts now. <laughs> and she was right. She, and she's correct. <laughs> As she whispered those sweet nothings into my ear. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? Oh, sorry, oh. Okay, so this might just be me. Right. Am I the only one? I might be the only one that like thinks that Rimi's voice doesn't really fit her. Right. I feel like it's slightly too cheery, you know what I mean? She's a cheerful person. Right, that's fine, but I don't know, just based on freaking, I guess, um, stereotypes, it just seems like her voice should be a little less bright. Yeah. But I think that's also kind of the point. They're going to into all the spoilers territory. I think the point the point is, so, is yeah, that spoiler she's... warning, spo spoiler warning, that, that skip to wherever she says. All right. Yep. Okay. <laughs> So the, I think the point is, is that she's supposed to be very cheery. Because right, because she, she's like, you know, the one to save Taku. Yeah. and From himself. Yeah. And basically to keep him straight and from going fucking crazy. You know, so I don't, I don't think it doesn't fish. Because it's like, that's, that's her point. That's what she's trying to do. Yeah. Okay. I guess it just, it makes me think of Sedica too much. 
which isn't this game's fault. But <laughs> to me, this voice, that type of voice, makes more sense. For <laughs> who eventually? Fuck! Now we're gonna spoil Chaos Child too. Okay, skip on <laughs> now. Another little bit. Okay, skip this next bit if you don't want Chaos Child spoiled. Actually, I'm not even just gonna. I'm not even gonna say it. It's not worth the risk because it's too big of a deal to not spoil that. But no, I like. I think it fits, and because it fits with the general design as well of these characters in that they are they are supposed to be fairly generic right? no i know they're similar they're purposely similar to each other i, I remember yeah. that yeah and it makes sense they're, pur- they're purposely similar and generic um to subvert both us and uh Takumi. um so you could say, in some respects, the voice that's used is a, a reflection of that, but also, yeah, a, a reflection of that Rimi is supposed to be, um, because she's supposed to be your helpful friend, but she's also your helpful friend for an anime crazed nerd. Yeah. So this all fits in to the to the task at hand. So. It's so you could say it is a slight exaggeration, and to be fair, it is emphasized in times like this where you think that yes, Rimi would be playing on this because she's got to convince this idiot not to kill himself. <laughs> yeah, more or less. <laughs> so she is going to emphasize her natural cheeriness and whatever anyway. Yeah, because it's going to stop this guy eating himself in front of a truck. Fair enough. And of course, there is sort of a bit of natural, I don't know, bit going on anyway, which I don't think is that out of character either. Even though also we know that, to be fair, all of her cheeriness really is an act that she's playing, mm-hmm. uh, given what's actually going on. So, so I don't think it. Well, I don't think it doesn't fit. Yeah. Like, basically, if it feels off, good. It's doing its job. <laughs> it's supposed to be off. Yeah. So it's, it's, I think especially with, well, with context looking in um, for foreshadowing, well, yes, the fact that it makes you feel on, you know, something feels ever so slightly off and that it's a bit you say, too cheery. It's like, correct, it is too cheery because it's all an act. I note. Mm-hmm. I noticed that. So you know the common anime thing of how like eyebrows and eyes. Yep. Like you see like the outlines of them mm-hmm. through hair through hair. Yes. I realized that they didn't do it on her right here, but then I also realized it's probably because she blinks. So they can't really do that with the hair behind it. Or in front of it. Right. So they just hide the hair behind the eyes, and it looks actually kind of weirder now that I think about it. Oh, you shouldn't have pointed that out. Yeah. Oh, no. Look what you've done now. You've broken everything. <laughs> yes. Now she's intentionally blinking at me like, yeah, you see that shit? And I bet the original sprites have the you know, usual thing like I described earlier. Mm, probably. If... I guess... If there is a static, if there are static versions of the sprites, if they didn't blink. Yes, I feel like if they blinked from the beginning, they wouldn't have drawn the hair like that. Mm. I don't know artists are weird. They can be like I'm drawing it like this anyway because it has to be like this, and then oh my God. the actual, you know, graphics people are like, what the fuck? We told you not to do that. Like you know they're gonna blink, right? And it's like yeah, fuck you. I draw character. They like this. And like fucking artists and have to just deal with that shit. Sorry for pointing that out, but I, I saw it and I had to point it out. <laughs> and now you pointed out, we'll never unsee it. Yeah, sorry. Could you not like point this out when we like an hour left in the game? Because who knows how long we've for- left in all this? I would have forgotten by now, by then. Yeah, the idea would you would have only noticed at that point. And now, and now the game's ruined. And we're only in like chapter three. 
It is crazy, though, how much just blinking is adds immersion. It's crazy to me how much effective it is. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just the fact that it adds some bit of movement. Especially given the sound design in this game, you'd say it's actually essential. Because other beings will compensate for not having any visual movement on the screen um, with uh, sound. Right? Whereas mm -hmm. because in this game they have some bit of movement, like not a lot, obviously, you know, it's not like it's not as sophisticated as other systems, nowhere near that. Yeah, it's not like Tekka Fukapara, anything like that, yeah. No, it's, it's not that sophisticated. But the fact that there is some bit of movement means that they can get away with, with the sound design that they've gone with. Because um, otherwise it kind of wouldn't work at all. It being to fall, fall in on itself a little. That was a weird distraction. Yeah. There like three distractions in there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry for everyone who's now spoiled, but kind of not spoiled, and some people are horrifically spoiled for uh, the best game in the series. Yeah, he said it. <laughs> Book. Kaeru. Yeah, that was way too much distraction for him. He's like, fuck this. Not... That's enough of this to, to these idiots. Okay, I'm walking you home. I know you can't do that on your own. What? Did we hear that right? This guy actually say thank you to somebody. Hell yeah. Get out the balloon, start throwing a party. I think that made her weak. <laughs> She's like, I don't care that you left me here. He said thank you. <laughs> 